mm -hmm. just open up to questions. It's only the three of you. Matt, you want to go first? Yeah, how confident does a day like that make you? Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, really confident. I mean, I've I've felt like I've I've been really confident, right? I mean, I felt like I've been playing really well. I mean, even the other day, I could have, you know, won in three easy sets. Um, and it helps that it actually ended up being a scare because I, uh, you know, I, 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 was, I was very aware that, you know, things can get away from you. And, you know, I just kept my foot on the gas the whole time going through, and, and it, was, it was a good performance today. What, uh, what are you most pleased with about your game so far through these two matches? Serving well, serving really well. Um, I guess all from the back, so I'm making dumb errors. Uh, a, little bit, a little early on, I was a little antsy, uh, wasn't, wasn't making a lot of mistakes, but once I settled in, I was really solid. Um, making guys earn it. I mean, I'm, I'm moving well. I'm, I'm, lately, I've been about as fit as I can be. My movement, you know, really solid. I'm getting a lot of balls and, and just being solid, but this serves a difference. It serves a difference. I served 20 aces today. Percentage is getting better. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, as you, as you get deeper in the draw, you got to hold serve. So if I can get some freebies, I'm going to take them. Andrew? You've been talking about being locked for uh, a few weeks now, but I'm just curious, like, it would have been easy after the end of last year maybe to not be as locked in, but you've been, like, right on it right from the start of the season. So how happy are you to? Be as locked as you have been. No, he's got to stay locked. Um, it's a it's a whole thing with the you know you know United Cup guys. Just just staying locked in. I mean, I made a joke about it with the guys. Um, the United Cup asking them before every match, are you locked? And uh, and it's definitely become a thing. And it's so funny how how true it is because you know I mean, staying between the lines. You know I mean it's, it's amazing how well you play. Um, and 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 it's becoming like a, just a funny thing with everybody. But to answer your question. Um, you know, you come so close to doing something so special, and to see what every, everything that happened after that, you know, I want more of those moments and better, right? Um, you know, I didn't get, I've gotten complacent before. I made quarterfinals here back in 2019. I got complacent. I saw what that looked like. I was, you know, sorry for my language, I was shit for two years, and um, now, now I'm back and, and playing well and playing some of the best tennis of my life. So, I know, uh, I know when things are going well, and I know how things can go south. So, you know, I'm. I'm uh, I'm as blessed with it and not taking it for granted. How do you feel about your opponent in the previous game? Special, that dude is special. Um, he's gonna be a he's gonna be a problem for a long time. 17 playing like that, hitting the ball like that, moving like that. Oof, boy's a problem. That boy's gonna be mean. Nice dude. Speaks speak obviously from China, obviously from China. Speak Chinese. Speak English well. He gon' <laughs> he gon' Take all the money from all these dudes. He gonna he, he gonna have he gonna have a career to you know that's that's gonna be special. I mean, he he's gonna be a problem, and I'm I'm a big fan of his and um, super nice guy as well. And I hope nothing but the best for him. Honestly, I had a lot of good words to say for him after the match, and um, yeah, I mean, just just time will tell. Impress you most? Um, probably his his weight of shot for like. How he looked, you wouldn't think he'd be able to hit the ball as hard as he had. That bad block definitely helps. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, he, forehand he can hit hard. On the run, he can hit great shots. Um, he's pretty skilled. He can slice. He can. He's, he's got all the shots. Serve. If his serve can get better, it'll be really tough. You know, I felt like you know every return game, I felt like I made him pay. But you know, if he, and that's only going to get better. He's 17. So you know, once that gets better, and he's well coached now. I mean, he's got Dante, who's I mean, he was coach, ton of great guys, you know, Kay and Grigor, and so, yeah. I mean, he's got all the formula. He's just got to just keep going, keep the head down. Howard, you uh, well. First, I just want to ask a quick one on the locked thing and where you got that from. Is that something a friend of yours says, or there's some other athlete that no, uses the lock, that? No, the lock thing. I mean, honestly, um, <laughs> it's a. Uh, I mean, I've I've been kind of living by that for for a little bit, and I think you've seen the shift in in myself and being more you know just locked in everything you're doing, um, staying staying super present, staying in the moment, staying locked in, and uh, and f and and it's funny coming from me because everyone knows how I go about my business and I'm you know very you know open and and just and just joking around. So when I'm saying it, it just sounds funny. So then it became a thing where. If, if if Francis can lock, like everyone's got to lock, 
So that's that's kind of like how it all came around. But it, it's uh, it's funny because they're all saying it. You know, Maddie, Fritz, um, Fritz dumbass drew a penis the other day trying to draw a lock sign. I mean, he's that's just Fritz being Fritz. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's good and, and and we're all doing well and and it's becoming like a good team camaraderie. So yeah. And I also just wanted to ask. Uh, you potentially in the fourth round could have had a rematch from New York here yeah. with, with Rafa. I'm just wondering what your reaction was, thoughts are on seeing what happened with him against Mackey today. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, I think it's been a question mark how Rafa's been feeling for a little bit now. Um, you know, I mean, so I told Mackey, I was like, listen, like, you know, you could join the, the three amigos, you know, me, Fritz, and Tommy. Like, we all got them. I don't know if you want to join it. But also, I told him, I mean, you're going to be in a position to win today. I mean, you can win today. And, you know, so seeing how he feels, I'm happy for Mackie. You know, it's, goat wins don't come easy. So, you know, someone told grandkids one day, and, you know, you got to be happy for that guy. And, but, you know, selfishly, yes, I would have loved that matchup again. Because um, beating him in New York that day, that day definitely changed my life. And, um, but, you know, against it, I'm like, I'm happy for Mackie. And, that hopefully he keeps going and hopefully we play in the fourth round. Um, so kind of win for both. But, um, yeah, I mean, again, I mean, it's it's tough. I mean, Rafa's been running around doing this for a long time. So um, I don't know where his body's at, but he's a, he's, a, he's an absolute legend. Last one. Can you, I mean, you mentioned before about 2019 and where you were sort of sniffed the, 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 the deep end of the tournament for the first time. And now you did this at the U.S. Open. Can you compare your level of motivation then and your level of motivation now and how the, the emotion is different? Yeah, it's not even comparable. Um, I was young, man. I was 20, turned 21 during a tournament. All these things were so new. I had a, also, at the time, a young coach. It was just me and him. And he was 25. Um, and... I was kind of just happy to be there. I mean, it was super unexpected. Um, I just, you know, caught, you know, got on fire and and I got real complacent. I guess you know, my career was only going this way, and you know, like since I was young, I was only going this way. And then I was just like, all right, cool, I did it. I'm now I'm twenty, I'm twenty one years old. I'm twenty nine in the world. I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep going. Got complacent, not doing the work, um, being lax on a lot of, a lot of different things on the details, and and it hurt me. It really hurt me, and um, the game caught up to me, and, you know, you lose confidence, and then by the time you know it, people start figuring it out. It don't take much, man. And then and by the time you know it, you're playing challenges, and you're like, God damn, <laughs> where, where did it all go? And then, yeah, and then you got to get yourself out of a hole. So, um, yeah, but, yeah, I, again, I mean, I'm so much more focused and, um, and, just, and just really want it.